A cold, a cold shower, shower now, now and then is good, good for the soul. soul. Oh. Yeah. She's one of the stars of All American, one of my new favorite <laughs> shows on the CW. Please welcome to ET Live, Karima Westbrook, hey. who is joining us. Hey. Girl, Thank this outfit. I know, right? You Thank are you. everything. The hair, the jewels. The color. You are perfection. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. First of all, congratulations on, on, on the show. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. So like we're talking off camera. It's so essential, the, the intersectional storytelling and just the juxtaposition of the, the two ways of life based on Spencer Pacinger. Yes, yes, it's a fire by his life. Right. It's a pay singer, ex NFL player, mm -hmm. and um, it's a great show. I, I, I really love it a lot. It's inspiring a lot of people. It is. And, and yeah. it must be so special to have Spencer on set. I feel like that is something that a lot of people don't have the privilege to do. What is your relationship like? With Spencer? Yes. Oh, it's very good. Uh, Spencer <laughs> is a really, really nice guy. I mean, the nicest guy I've, I've met in, the, in a while. I mean, everyone on the set right. is pretty nice. Yeah. I had a chance to connect with Spencer, with his mom, which was really nice okay. as well. Well, so because you play Spencer's mom, yes. Daniel Ezra's mom, in the show, mm -hmm. what did you um, have any conversations with her to draw on the experiences you could put, that you can inject to the character? I did have a chance to speak with her. Uh, it was great. But I, I decided as an actor, I wouldn't try to portray her. Sure. Mm. But it was nice to talk to her to kind of get an idea of like yeah. what it was like for her raising the kids and you know what are some of the special things she did for them. So that was that was really nice. It was very inspiring to, to hear her story. And I know she's very proud of Spencer. I know I would yeah. be. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And I'm sure very proud of the show and the way everything has played out as well. And yeah, we actually just so. had Daniel Ezra on our show show recently. Oh, nice. um, he is your on-screen son. Yes. Now, you know, it's so interesting because he told us that he kept his uh, American accent, mm -hmm. like, on set. Yes. When did you learn that he was British? Because that was like a big secret that he yes. kept from all of you guys. Yes. I think I learned just by word of mouth in the very beginning, mm. but I never heard him speak. And then when I heard him speak, I was like, Oh wow, he's just this kid is really, really great because you have no idea that he's British at all. He's such a trained actor, he's great. And he said he didn't have like a vocal coach or anything either. He just oh, wow. had he learned through videos and things like that and observing others. Oh, that's very impressive. I had no idea. Right? Yeah. Yeah. See the more you know. The story <laughs> though of just how this whole came to how mm -hmm. the whole show came to fruition is really interesting. It's just there's so many elements of this show that are Truly fascinating. I want to talk about uh, the relationship between your character Grace and Billy? Hmm. Um, I, what was that? What was that? I know, I, because I get that a lot. So okay, I'm you know the you moment where he shows up at the door, yeah. and then it's just like, what's happening? Yeah. But uh, you know, he, Billy's played by Tay Diggs. Will we get to know more? Is, I, I'm sure the story's going to unfold. We're going to get to more, a more, more of a deeper dive into the, the relationship and the history between the two. Mm -hmm. Yes, you will definitely learn more about Billy and myself mm -hmm. moving forward. But I mean, as you guys are really like, you're no, like, I, you're like, 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 like our like faces this. are like this. No, 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 we're like, that was, fill the I mean, tea. that was so funny. Um, actually, you know, we've already revealed in the, sh revealed in the show <laughs> that uh, Billy and I went to school together. So mm -hmm. you guys know we have history. Right. And he played a huge part in helping Spencer go to Beverly Hills High. So yeah, definitely as a, the, Episodes progress, you will learn a little more about all the characters. Love it. We're over here, like, We're like next to <laughs> I know, I know. I, know. I, I love the fact that you guys are. Um very intrigued and want to know what's going to happen. Well, it's a, it's such a, I keep saying the word special show. It and is. as Jason mentioned, you know, obviously the show deals with a lot of social issues, things that need to be talked about. Absolutely. And, you know, is there a subject that hit you personally? Yeah, I mean, I'm very proud of the show. Um, even though it's a teen drama, as an adult, I feel like I'm learning a lot as well. I relate to a lot of the situations, and it's very thought-provoking. Mm -hmm. There is an episode um, where Coop's character, when her mom kicks her out because of her sexual orientation, that was very moving to me. But that is actually a reality that a lot of kids face. Oh, um, totally. Yeah, right. sad reality. So I'm really happy that they touched on that. Um, another... another um, storyline was when Billy hadn't had the conversation with Jordan, his son, about being a black man in America and what that could mean and some of the experiences that you might have. And so that was very moving um, as well. So there's a lot of things. I feel like I'm finding healing. Um, you know, Spencer grew up as a single. Um, he didn't have a father. He grew up without his father. And I grew up without my father. Yeah. 
And I found in the episode, just watching him and the things that he experiences as a kid, I had to reflect back in my own life and say, wow, did that inspire me to behave in a certain way as well because my dad wasn't around. So I think the show has so much to to offer. I, and I'm glad you said that because um, for myself, I, I see a lot of my own life in the show and yeah. a lot of the situations. Mm-hmm. And I think one of the, the things that the CW got right with All American was staying true and not making it seem like, oh, Spencer's from the hood. Yeah. or which, which, I mean, he's from an urban community. Yeah. But they do it in a way that is not only appropriate, accurate, but still, as you said, it's essential mm-hmm. conversations we need to have yeah. in 2019. This show is a success. You are a success. But what is Thank next you. for you beyond All American? Thank you. Well, yeah. I, have, I have an indie film that's coming out May 3rd entitled okay. Bolden. It's based on the story of Charles Buddy Bolden, who was the man who created The Sound of Jazz. So I'm uh, very excited for people to see that. It takes place in the early 1900s. It's a period piece. Lots of music. The music was composed by Wynton Marcellus. Nice. And so, yeah, we're very excited okay. about that. Okay, calendars marked for May. Nice. Nice. Exciting Karima, stuff well, you for you. are a queen looking amazing. And again, thank, thank you, you thank for, you so for, for your, your, your gifts and your talent. This show is fantastic. You are fantastic. And thank you, thank you so much for having Absolutely. me. Too, live. Thank I appreciate you. it. Make sure to catch Karima on All American Wednesdays on The CW.